Two and a half months since the gruesome killing of Arunachal NPP MLA Tirangabo and 10 others, family members of the victims, including that of Abo, still await the compensation and jobs promised to them by the state government. May 21st, 2019, the fateful day when, within minutes, unidentified assailants gunned down sitting Arunachal NPP MLA Abo and 10 others, sending shockwaves across the region. The incident took place barely two days before the results of the state assembly elections and the Lok Sabha polls were to be declared. Pema Khandu, who began his second term as the Chief Minister for Arunachal Pradesh on May 29th, had in his first cabinet meeting itself decided to hand over rupees 20 lakh each to the families of the victims. Not only this, the state government had also promised a great sea job to one member from each of the affected families. However, over two months since the announcement, neither of the promises have been fulfilled. Northeast Life caught up with the family members of Abo in Khonsa West as they highlighted their plight. Dacha Abo, sister of slain NPP MLA Tirong Abo, is struggling hard to secure the government job promised to them. Talking exclusively to Northeast Life correspondent Ripunjoy Das, Decha said it was getting extremely difficult to take care of her parents and look after her brother's family without a job. I have been working on my Northeast Live also spoke to wife of Wangoy Hakun, the NPP State General Secretary who was also with Abo on the fateful day and was among those killed. She only hoped that Chief Minister Pema Khandu will soon address their woes. On behalf of the deceased family, I stand over here uh, to inform to the government of Arunachal Pradesh that we, the deceased family, have still hope in the government led by Pema Khanduji, and we still wish and pray that whatever has been decided by the cabinet till now will prove a successful one and help each and every one of us who has faced uh, lots of difficulties within these two and a half months. So who is responsible for the plight of these affected families? Is it red tapism or sheer government apathy? The government of the day needs to answer these questions. Well, these promises has till date uh, remain as promises only and it is to be seen as to how long the government takes to fulfill them as it is almost three months time now that the incident had rocked the entire nation. With camera person Pranib, this is Ripunjay Das reporting from Khonsa for Northeast Live.